It's time for another midweek minute, so let's get it. I want to quickly review the sermon on Sunday. We are walking through Ephesians. We just finished chapter one. Five more chapters to go, and we'll be looking at Advent. Wow. And so we talked about knowing God on Sunday, and we looked at Paul's prayer for the church at Ephesus. Paul intercedes to God on behalf of this church. Now, this church had already come to know God through the person and work of Jesus Christ, but Paul prayed that their knowledge would grow. Specifically, Paul prayed that they would grow to know this hope that they have been called to, that they would grow to know that they are God's glorious inheritance and that they would grow in their knowledge of God's power as demonstrated in Jesus Christ. Now, we do intercede for one another. And I think most of the times it's situationally specific. Paul's prayer was lofty and it was it was high, but it's a prayer that we can pray as well as we see it in Scripture. And I quoted from J.I. Packer and J.I. Packer basically said that what underlies this whole idea of knowing God is the fact that God knows us. And I got this from the library and in my, my I'm going to return it and in my study for that sermon, there are many things that I could have included, but it would have been a sermon about J.I. Packer. <laughs> but here in chapter two, J.I. Packer talks about people who know their God and he brings up three things that jumped out for me. People who know their God, they have the energy to serve him. People who know their God, they have the boldness to share him. And people who know their God, they do find contentment in him. Energy to serve him, number one. We think of all of the different things that we have energy for on a day-to-day -day basis. Work, work life, home life, entertainment and fellowship life and hanging with friends and 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 play and and working out all of these things we have energy for but let's think about prayer specifically when we wake up in the morning do we have energy to pray to God to thank him and to rejoice in the day that he has made what's your morning routines look like how do you commune with God in prayer is it in the morning is it in the afternoon is it in the evening, what does it look like? If we have energy for everything else, it follows that we should have energy to commune with God, thus getting to know him more. They have the boldness to share God. Those who know their God, they have the boldness to share God. Now, I have friends that can walk up to someone cold on the street and blaze the gospel. Not all of us are like that. But remember what Peter says, like be prepared to give a defense or give an answer for the hope that you have, for the reason for the hope that you that you have within you. Now you think about that. Scripture tells us of who our God is and, and how God has come to us in the person and work of Jesus Christ and how he has redeemed us. If we know that from Scripture, that is the reason for our hope. And that is what we share. And you would be surprised if you flipped that question back to someone and said, okay, hey, give me a reason for why you believe what you believe. And oftentimes you would, you would find that there's not sufficient reason there. But in conversation, non-threatening conversation, as Peter says, with gentleness and respect, enter into a conversation and give the reason for the hope that you have within you. And the last thing that Packer talks about is that those who know their God, they find contentment in him. And the Apostle Paul really helps us here. He says, I know in every situation how to be content. The situations of having plenty, the situations of being in need, the situation of being hungry or being having an abundance. And what does Paul say? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. A lot of times people like to use that scripture verse, you know, put it on their T-shirt at a big sporting event. You know, boxers, remember Evander Holyfield, you know, had it on his trunks. Well, it's not it's not that it really is the secret to contentment that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. And the last thing, remember John's test in 1 John 2. He says, this is how we know that we have come to know God because we obey his commandments. If we say that we know God and, and we don't 
keep his commandments, then, then we lie and the truth is, is not in us. And God's commandments are not burdensome. Out of love and devotion, we want to please our God. And as we go through life with God in mind, seeking to know him, we recognize that his commandments are not burdensome. Remember what Jesus says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Out of love and devotion, let us serve our God and get to know him more. Let us do it individually and let's do it corporately in community. Have a wonderful day. That is the word of the day, knowing God individually and in community to his glory. Bye-bye.